Hey, readers, writers, readers and writers. <laughs> um, today we're going to be putting ourselves in somebody else's shoes. Have you ever heard that idiom before? Where you're supposed to try to think about what it's like to be looking through somebody else's eyes. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Recently, well, not recently, because now we've been in this COVID thing for a while, but I'm remembering a while back, I had some people over to my house for dinner. And as we were sitting down at the dinner table, uh, one of my guests looked over and said, oh my God, your window is cracked. And I was like, oh my goodness, it wasn't like huge. It wasn't like a big gaping hole. It was just a little bit of a crack, but I hadn't noticed it probably because I live here and I just kind of wander around and you know how you don't notice things if you're, if you're really, really familiar with something. And then I started looking around and I noticed that my bookshelves were like, I had missed a spot when I was dusting. And I was thinking, wow, it's really powerful when somebody else sees what you see and tells you about it. So today I'm gonna to teach you that often writers, when they're kind of close to being all done with their information books, writers like to kind of take a step back out of their way of thinking, because now you've been doing using this book so much, you're super, super familiar with it. Now you're gonna do something that's really, really hard. And that is, you're going to pretend that you're somebody else who doesn't know anything about your topic. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And um, I'm going to pretend that I am Olivia, because Olivia does not know anything about cockroaches. So if she were reading my book, she would have like it's all going to be new to her so i'm going to be asking myself if olivia was reading this would this make sense so let's give it a try so today i'm going to read the very beginning of my cockroach book and i'm going to think to myself i'm going to pretend i'm olivia so i'm ima imagine it's the middle of the night and you wake up thirsty you head to the kitchen when you turn on the light you see a bunch of dark blobs on the floor and the counters running everywhere. Ew! That's what this book is all about. Hmm. You know, I don't even know what this book is all about. That's kind of exciting. I like it. But I don't even... Mom, what's this book about? Olivia would say, right? <laughs> and now that I think about it, I'm looking and I'm realizing this is a book about cockroaches and I don't even say the word cockroach in my first paragraph a single time. Can you believe that? So now I'm going to show you how I fixed it. So once I read this with like the lens of Olivia's eyes and I realized that I hadn't put what I was writing about, I changed it. And so now it says all what I said before. But I added a sentence. I added this one. It says, cockroaches have taken over your home. And unless you do something about it, they will be here to stay. Doesn't that sound better? I mean, really, it's way better. Now my reader, Olivia, can read this first paragraph, that super, super powerful, important introduction, and know exactly what my book is about. She's going to know that it's about how to deal with cockroaches in your home. All right, so let's give it a try. This is unusual, um, but what I would like for you to do on slide seven is take a stab at figuring this out. So remember we were doing a book, um, uh, a class book about our school and we've been talking about Mrs. Borg and the office, the main office. Well, let's read this. So you're thinking to yourself, if I didn't know BES, would this be confusing? Would you understand? When you first come to our school, after the lobby, the first place you will stop is the main office. The main office is very important. It's where people who work for the school have desks. Hmm. Well, I wonder what that place looks like. I wonder who actually works there. 
Yeah. I'm thinking maybe some changes need to be made. Would you do that for me? Would you write in this box and say what you think maybe we could add? Just one sentence that will clear it up for the reader. Why don't you go ahead and do that? And then, so our writing needs to make sense, right? I mean, you guys have been working so hard on your information books and wouldn't it be a big bummer if your reader is reading it and doesn't know what you're talking about? If they're going, what? Then maybe it means that you need to clear some stuff up. Doesn't mean you have to rewrite the entire thing. Just means maybe you need to clarify some things. So as you're working today, your job is to read your book, and really, really try to think about what it would be like if your reader didn't know anything. Would what you were writing make sense? And that's your assignment for today. So try to fix up confusing spots. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's it. So, but so important, right? I mean, every writer hopes that their stuff gets read eventually, and that's what we're hoping. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's make our writing as clear as we possibly can. And as you're reading, please make sure that you are capitalizing the first word in the sentence. You're punctuating the end of the sentence. Notice if you should have changed from one paragraph to another. Now's the time, guys, and capitalize the word I. Oh, don't let me see that again. All right, you guys, have fun. I'm really enjoying your books.